What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the JW Show. It's the kid JW. And hey, welcome back, JW rock stars. Man, it's been nice to see y'all again. So, this week I'm talking about something different, actually. This, <laughs> this is different, actually. This is actually a topic that got sent in, and it's different. It goes, the topic is, what did your past relationship teach you about yourself? And I really want to shout out the person who sent this in, but it's anonymous. So shout out to them for emailing me. Um, I'm actually reading it right here. Uh, what, did your, what did your past relationship teach you about yourself? Or one of your relationships? Uh, so my past relationships taught me that by myself where that Back when I was younger, I had a lot of anger issues. I didn't know how to communicate. Um, I didn't know how to communicate more for damn. So I would always take out my frustrations by yelling and putting down, you know, somebody. And it was one of those things where it created a toxic environment. And no one wants to be in a relationship where you're constantly arguing. There's no trust. And every time, you know, your partner's going through your phone because they, they, just, they think something's going on, but nothing's really going on because you're the, you're the good guy. You're the faithful guy, you know, and they're, but they're insecure. So, or, you know, that person's past, you know, that they're pretty much out there. And so you're insecure, but you're trying to control the narrative so where you can have a happy relationship, but in, in trying to do that, you're controlling them and then they're trying to push back because they don't like being, you know, tied down in a relationship, but they want the relationship, but they don't want to be tied down in the relationship. So you're constantly arguing, you're yelling, you're letting your anger get the best of you guys and you're pushing and shoving sometimes. That's what my, that's, and being, going through that, that taught me that I need to work on myself. I need to find ways that I can better myself i can find ways that if i'm frustrated how can i work through the issues and so without yelling and becoming an angry an angry person by throwing stuff punching stuff hello broken hand um stuff like that and i learned over the course of my relation my past you know my past learning experience in relationships that going for walks going fishing you know Going kayaking, just being out the house and doing something, you know, physical, you know, like that's I mean, out there to let my mind go. You know, that really helped me, you know, balance myself now to where I'm more in tune. You know, if I'm frustrated, I might I, I still get I still get frustrated. You know, if I get frustrated, I'm still gonna be like, hey, we need to talk. But I'm not at the point where I'm like my old self from six, seven years ago. So those relationships from six, seven years ago taught me that, hey, I need to work on myself. Otherwise, I'm not going to be successful in any of my relationships. Okay. Now, how does that work out for you guys tuning in? Don't be afraid to look at your past relationships and see what went wrong. Don't be afraid to sit there and actually look yourself in the mirror and be like, damn, this is where I screwed up at. How can I fix that? You know, because we're so quick to blame the other person. Instead of looking at ourselves like, all right, this is where I went wrong. at. This is how I can fix this. And by the time we realize we can fix it, it's too late. Okay. Because there's too many times where we can be in a relationship with somebody that's constant arguing, and third, but we're blaming that person. And then when we go out and do something to get back at that person because we're angry, it makes the situation even worse. Okay, so my past relationships taught me a lot to who I am now to where, hey, I'm going to put in the hard work. I'm going to sit, I'm going to dig my head, my feet in and I'm going to, hey, we go talk about these issues when they're, when they're hot and fresh. We're not going to sit here and ignore them and go to bed angry. You know, we're going to talk this out. We're going to work on this because if you don't, it's going to become an issue and it's going to keep building and building and building because I know what works for me may not work for my partner, but I also believe in not going to bed angry because if I let it go for the moment until I cool off, 
it's not gonna work because I'm still gonna harbor that, that angry, that frustration. I may be calm on the outside, but I'm still like, pissed off on the inside. But when we wanna talk, the anger gonna come right back or it's gonna keep building and building and building to where it's, it's gonna erupt at some point. So that's what my previous relationships taught about me, that I need to work on myself instead of trying to look at others and blame where their faults are. I have to look at myself because I'm not perfect. I have my own thoughts and I'm always going to be working on myself. Pretty much like I-75. I'm always going to be working on myself to become a better person. It, it never stops. All right. Um, but yeah. But on a lighter note, if you want to join the experience or you want to send in some topics like that, go ahead. Join the experience over at kickingitwithjw.com. Hit me up at info at kickingitwithjw.com. Email links right there in the description below and of course if you want to see videos of the other person here in this relationship the, the better half head over to worlds collide but before y'all do because y'all y'all still hard-headed subscribe to this channel turn the notifications on and then head over to worlds collide i've made it easy for you the button's like right right there all right somewhere all right head over there subscribe to their channel as well you're going to see me my handsome self and the awesome beautiful talented Miss Diva Talks over there. We're going to be doing reaction videos, couples talks as well, too. Because we do a lot of colliding, but we also do a lot of agreeing, too. All right? Now, on that note, I'm going to catch you guys next time. Because, hey, I got to go. Later, y'all.